Let's look at the impact of leverage in increasing return on equity. Here's an example of a relatively low level financial institution. It generates return on assets of 2.6%. It has equity of 200 and debt of 800. So we result in a return on equity of 13% thanks to the leverage improving the return on assets. But let's compare that to a higher degree of leverage where the equity is only half the amount. In this case, the return on assets starts with the same interest income as the low leverage example, which is 50, but that's offset by a higher interest expense. Because the higher leverage company is using more debt, it has to pay more interest and therefore 27 is deducted as opposed to 24 in the low leverage case. When divided by the asset base of 1,000, that results in a return on assets of 2.3%. So that return on assets is slightly lower than in the low leverage case. But thanks to the higher degree of leverage, when we multiply that return on assets of 2.3% by 10, because this company has so much more leverage, it results in a return on equity of 23% as opposed to the low leverage company, a return on equity of 13%. This is exactly how higher leverage enhances return on equity. So this is why banks constantly want to have as much leverage as they can get away with or as much leverage as they feel comfortable operating with because of this effect.